So I've had a love for these knives ever since playing Team Fortress 2 and with the spy character, he carries one of these. I always thought he was a really cool character, even though I really sucked playing him just because I was bad at video games and he took a lot of skill to really use effectively. But anyway, I always thought his aesthetic was really cool. He had the, you know, the suit and tie with a big revolver and all that. But anyway, I got real love for these butterfly knives and they're kind of hard to find because they're not really popular where I live. And they seem to be iffy on whether people think they're legal or not. Around where I live, you can legally have them and with a license, you can legally carry them. Uh, I don't know all over, so if you're gonna make this, I'd probably recommend checking your laws. But my basic plan is I'm gonna make the two handles out of this 3 16th inch piece of steel. I'm gonna cut it in a half inch strips and then sand them down to at the end, they're 3 8 I'll, I'll probably show that more in depth as I go, five inches long. These two pins here, I measured, I'm gonna make them a half inch apart, which should work for this. The blade I'll kind of draw out as I get there. I'm gonna make it out of a 1084 carbon steel. This is just an eighth inch piece that I have. Uh, no specific thing for the steel, it's just what I have lying around, so I'm gonna use it. Uh, this, I will say in the thumbnail, or not the thumbnail, I'm gonna say in the title, that this is no blacksmithing because technically I'm not really hammering anything out, but I will be heat treating this, which I will be using my forge, but with steel this thin, I'm pretty sure you just take like a propane torch or one of those map gas torches or even a acetylene torch if you can get it and heat treat it that way. But yep, I, I've been meaning to make one of these for a while for my channel, just I've yet to get around to it and a few weeks ago, my brother showed me that he was getting a butterfly knife and, uh, well, I can't let him one-up me. So, uh, if you're watching this, uh, I just want to tell you, your younger brother that identifies as a girl is still cooler than you. So, I have my base design drawn up on this piece of steel. Uh, this is, a uh, four and three-quarter inches long. Uh, just about an inch wide at the base here. These two pins, again, are half-inch. Uh, I basically drew in a shape. You can go with whatever. I said this is kind of unique. I plan my cutting edge being here and then my false edge being here. Don't judge me. That's just how I want to do it. If you want, you can always go with a more classic shape like this, but I have to be different because that's just what I do. Uh, uh, these kind of go out on most butterfly knives. I don't know if it's really necessary, but I thought, why not? My plan is, is I'm going to cut all of this out and then I drill these two holes. I will double check all of my measurements before I cut and drill just because I don't want to have to redo this and steel is expensive. I also cut these into my half inch wide strips, five inches long, where they fit, they'll fit on here once I drill my holes. And then once they fold up, they'll go over. Well, they'll probably fit on quite like that. I'll have all of that kind of measured out later. And yeah. So I'm gonna go to my angle grinder, cut a rough shape of this out and then I'll probably grind and sand at the shape uh, to make sure it's a little more even. Uh, stuff like this, you want to give yourself a little bit of space to work just in case you mess up. You don't want to have to uh, adjust your design later. So I have the base blade cut out. I have it filed down so I don't, you know, cut myself. I've done that. I make up the burrs. So I got that thing. Anyway, so I just need to sand it to shape. It's pretty close, but not quite. Then I have these two holes. Let's see. I already just took a punch, so that way they're already started. This steel isn't hardened at the moment. So it's actually really soft, even though it's a pretty high carbon steel. As you can see from the cutting, there's a lot of really bright sparks coming off of it. But yeah, I just need to go to my belt sander, shape it. I'll probably then drill these two holes before I put my edge on just because if I'm holding this with an edge, it won't end well. And then is I'll probably drill all of these the same after, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'll finish this first and then I'll make it.
basic shape. I'm gonna grind in bevels, which I'm not gonna grind them in all the way like I normally do. I'm gonna grind most of the way and then have a secondary one going in or, or maybe I'll grind them all the way, I don't know yet. I'll probably just start grinding and see what happens. Now that I have this roughly sanded to the shape I want, I'll finish it up and make it a little sharper, but I still want it to be dull so that way I don't accidentally cut myself. But I'm gonna go ahead and drill these two holes for my hands. Now that I have my pinholes drilled in, the blade is, I'll probably sand this up a little bit, just kind of touch it up before heat treat. Then, of course, heat treat it. And I also need to drill out the holes that pins go through on the handle. And then, yeah, once I do that, I'm at the shape, the end of it to the size I want, so it spins on this. This. I say it like you don't, this is, this is a blade. Jeez. It's getting late. <laughs> I got my hole drilled through all of those. I did it individually, but I stuck a pin through it, so that way I can line them all up and sand them to the same length. Just a pair of vice grips hold the other end, so that way they're all uniform, because they're not cut the most even. So I'm gonna go to my belt sander, straighten them all up, and then I'm gonna round one end of all of them, so that way it doesn't you know, dig into my hands. Okay, now that I have these drilled out, they're kind of neat so you really can't see it, but I have the sides rounded out, the sides smooth to where I want them. I uh, still have to round them, but I'm gonna drill these holes, which I've already stamped in. Basically, this will be a spacer. This will be two holes that will be held in place. This is in the back. This one will be the little locking mechanism, which now that I'm looking at it, that hole is gonna need moved. But, so I'll just, you know, Leave that should be on the inside. Uh, I'll put something farther up because as long as it doesn't get in the way of this here, because the blade won't come back any farther than that. Once I have the center pins in, which I don't have the stuff to make that yet, I forgot to get those. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill these holes, move something up here, and then drill those as well. And then I'm gonna round out the edges. These holes all drilled out. I got the scrap piece of 3 16th steel. I'm gonna cut a spacer that fits here, drill holes in it. Then I'm going to uh, sand it down a little bit to where it's closer to the thickness of my blade. So that way it's not super wide. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out kind of a T shape that I'm gonna use for my latch. I already tested it and I can drill a hole through it. So that shouldn't be too big of an issue. It'll be a bit of a challenge, but I think I can do it. Then uh, all I have to do is put my two pins in and heat treat the blade, which I want to drill the holes for the pins first because drilling through hardened steel is not easy. It's not impossible, but it's a lot more work than it's worth. So then basically all I have to do is round everything out and finally finish, put everything together. And so I uh, made this little locking mechanism. I just basically made a T. I'll need to clean it up a little bit, but I'm gonna do that at the moment. Held on using a nail, same as these. For this side, I ended up actually welding it, uh, there you can kind of see it. I couldn't get to work and screaming in my head was going too loud so I really couldn't focus. So I just welded it and called it good. And I'll probably be stronger in the long run. I need to fill up these holes with weld, which 
I'm gonna shut this, once I shut this camera off, I'm gonna go do, and then I'm gonna sand, oh, sand all of these where they're rounded, and then I'll finish sanding this out, and I'll drill in. You know what, actually I'm gonna sand that and then go from there. Okay, now that I have my two handle pieces finished, I went ahead and drilled, these are 1 8 holes, to fit these 1 8 I think they're called tension pins. But basically fit in there and that'll work to stop the blade from going too far in other direction. So, you know, it holds open straight and doesn't close and cut your hand. So now I'm ready to throw this in the forge and heat treat and temper. Okay, now that I have my blade heat treated and tempered, I went ahead and just hammered those pins in. So now I'm gonna take my handle and I'm going to, well, cut the pins and assemble it. I wanna be very careful to make sure this still moves. Okay, so now all you really have to do is file out a little area for these pins. That way it sits like it's supposed to, so it doesn't have a wide handle. Mine, as you can see, I got it really stiff. That'll loosen up a bit with time, so I found with ones these I made in the past. So, yeah, I'm gonna file on little grooves on either side of these, sharpen this up, and then I might give these a paint job because I just don't really like the metal. I like it black. Okay, now I've got a nice uh, flat back, eh, flat black paint job. Let's get yourself a nice butterfly knife. Now all I've got to do is learn some tricks, and which uh, you can kind of find them online. I'd recommend before you sharpen it, learning them or getting a practice one just so you don't cut yourself open. I've never really done that, but again, I practiced before I ever got one. But the basic one that I'm doing, I don't know if I can explain it while filming, what I'm really doing is flipping it open and rotating the whole thing in my hand. Let's see, where I just kind of flip it and rotate it. And I pull, go back and open up my fingers and then grab it. And then once you do it in one motion, you get one of those things. So yeah, fun little project. I accidentally, will the camera, I guess can't get the camera to focus, but I accidentally chipped the front of it with playing with it earlier. That's the problem with carbon steels. It'll do that, but yeah. Been a long time since I built a butterfly and this is farther, eh, much better than the ones I made before. So yeah. Man, these are fun to play with. 